Hello, this is the new version of my battery pack. It can be charged by solar panels or by Walsh power supply. Got quite a few new features in here, including I now have nine front LEDs instead of eight. I've moved the LED dimmer to the back and I'm using a different model with a built-in poly fuse and separate on off switch. I am using a more improved version of the solar controller charger so I can charge up to 10 amps or 120 watts of solar power. Now, we get started here. Unit is got two front LED switches right here and here. The first one, which is the red switch, actually connects the battery to the solar controller. So with this off, the solar controller and battery are completely disconnected. This is to prevent any on-the-shelf drainage. It also lets you disconnect the battery if you want to connect the battery to a separate charge controller. This blue switch powers this front panel and the LEDs. Now, LEDs work in two functions. Two, or all nine of them. You got USB ports, uh, one amp at the top and 2.1 amps at the bottom. A 12 port volt plug. For, and of course, little voltage monitor on the battery. Flipping this around, we have a 5.5 millimeter input jack. This is to connect the solar panel to. We got two fuses. This one fuse protects this port here, and this fuse protects the battery. And this is an LED status light. I've also improved the solar panel. Earlier I was using a 12 volt, 2 watt solar panel. Now I'm using an 18 volt, 5.5 watt volt panel, 5.5 watt panel. Here's the, this is the unmodified panel. It came with alligator clips and a car plug and a USB adapter. Now I removed these and inserted a pigtail barrel plug jack. I also installed four rare earth magnets so I can connect it to a metal frame. Why did I do this? Uh, to make it easier to connect and disconnect the panels. Also by using a joiner like this I can connect multiple panels to one input to increase the wattage so I could double or even triple the wattage by connecting two or three panels. And then I can actually connect this to the input. Right, here we are. Like so. Now this is actually got two switches on it, so I'm not sure how well that's going to show up on camera. Uh, but since the the 18 volt panel is more sensitive than the 12 volt panel, so even this LED bar, uh, as far away as it is from it, is picking up enough light to start to give a charge to the controller. Now this splitter I actually uh, use for mostly LEDs, not the control solar panel. Of course this is an independent on off switch which I use to control several of my LED strips. Alright, going to what, can, what this can do. Let's start off with the LEDs. The front mount LEDs come into settings. The first setting is just the two LEDs. And the second setting is, of course, 
all eight. Now, I'm gonna put my little phone here so we can get measure how bright this is. Uh, this is approximately 13 inches away at full brightness. Well, we're getting uh, about 4,000 lux. And if we switch down to this, the two LEDs, uh, we get about 1,050 lux. Now, I am using Hawkeye LED lights here. So they do throw the light quite a bit. They spread it out. So it's more of a floodlight than it is a spotlight. Now it's got a couple of extra features. We'll start with this. By using the 12 volt plug, I could connect units like this and connecting it to my splitter. By doing that, I can connect various LED light arrangements. Now this is going to be pretty bright, so I'm actually going to flip this off sideways so it doesn't blind me. Uh, this set is set to pull apart and stick to, well, pretty much anything you want. I actually have it to the in frame, frame of the tent. Another option would be a spotlight. This is a 27 watt spotlight, almost as bright as the front light, uh, but the, it's a lot more narrow. This is only about 30 degrees, well that one throws it closer to 120. Of course, we have USB. That's just a US LSB LED strip. But you can use it to charge any of your various phone accessories, tablets, um, and whatnot that needs a USB to charge. All right, we're going to take a look at the charging mechanism. Now, as I stated before, you can charge through the solar panel, but you can also charge through the wall panel. I'm using a 90 watt universal AC adapter. Now you need needs around 16 volts to charge. Um, there is some voltage drop, and for a lead acid battery to charge, it needs 14. 14.5 volts depending how low it is so I actually have this set to 16 volts right now and by setting that in here it's only pulling one 1.3 watt which is standby wattage for this you can see it is saying it's got voltage in here but until this red light is switched the charge controller is actually disconnected and now it's pulling 31 watts. Now the battery's nearly complete charge, so it's actually going to start tampering down. As you can see here, it's pulling between 20 watts and it's dropping down to 16, uh, 13. As it's cycling down because it'll switch over to float charge mode once it hits 100% capacity. Now I'll take a look at the inside. There's the charge controller. I had to unplug it so I could open it up. But it was showing taking it charge, and as you can see here, the battery is nearly completely charged. quick disconnect, the TX60 connector. It's usually used in lithium-ion battery packs for RC appliances like uh, 
cars and planes. But I like how snug it is. And there's no problem using it as a 12 volt power adapter for this battery. Easily disconnect this and connect it to a lead acid battery charger. You see in here we have the LED dimmer. It's got a pulse wave modulator. They're about four bucks off of eBay. And most of these components were purchased for less than $80. Mind you, it took me close to four to five hours to assemble this as well. Also, I had to wait for items like the epoxy to dry and cure. Now, I've used this for several lighting arrangements. I've had no trouble. It runs all day, all night. Uh, I had no trouble charging my phone off of it quite a few times. Uh, this was not really meant to be a complete replacement for, say, an emergency generator, but to act as a really big flashlight to connect my LEDs to my tent and to charge my phone when I needed it to be charged. So far, I'm very happy with it. I have set to mass produce a few of these. I've I have five of them in the works, and um, we'll see how they go. Thank you for watching my updated video. Have a good night.